What's up, everyone? Thralls Miller here once again. I'm a crack neck. I'm Jamin John. And we have an album review for you, or rather an EP review for you. We decided we wanted to go over the newest release from Bird Flesh, All the Miseries EP. This comes out on the 28th of May on Everlasting Spew Records. This grindcore nuthouse formed in 1992. This is their third EP. They have five full lengths and a ton of splits. And they feature current and former members of General Surgery and Entrails. And this is hilarious grindcore. Yes. This is not to be taken seriously, and you know, except for riffs. Except for riffs and pure yeah, fun, dude, riffs that is what you take seriously Riffs on and this. jamming music, yes, but everything else, no. The thing I love about this band, and if you guys have been watching my collection updates, I've been getting more bird flesh albums. I love not only the fun energy and the complete nonsense that these guys do, I love the fact that this is almost kind of like thrash metal too. Mm -hmm. It's like crossover thrash meets grindcore. So, you know, Napalm Death on one side, Municipal Waste on the other. Yep. It's ridiculous fun and this whole EP bullet trains pretty much ridiculous fun. Starting off with Gore Ensemble, which you feel the thrashy riffs right away. Mm -hmm. And then it's over. <laughs> yeah. In, in typical grindcore. grindcore fashion, you get into it and then it's over. Same with High on Carnage. Although that is where Municipal Waste came out for me. Dude, That's where I first like heard it. Slayery riffs in there. And it's cool because, like, I mean, they still follow the grindcore procedure. Short, condensed, violent songs, but they're fun and they are riffy and it's not always like without groove like sometimes they favor a d beat sometimes mm -hmm. they bring in a groovy pocket most of the time it's a blast beat but man it's always fun yep it never stops now the song radioactive madness too i want to point out this sounds a lot like a, a local band from here called bathhouse betty kind of like a surfer billy rock meets grind the punk energy on here is all over and i think that's kind of like the whole like you know nonsensical fun and believe me when it comes down to nonsensical fun that you weren't expecting i would say ink death and <laughs> spinebreaker ink death is ridiculous <laughs> there's a childhood story here being told they got tattoos and then change their names. And that's that's it. it. That's it. That's it. That's the whole story. All told in 20 seconds. If that, that was a very short song. And then Spinebreaker is almost like they're taking a pop punk song. The same thing I said. Like some Warped Tour bullshit from 2005. I don't even know what the lyrics are. It's a clear parody and it's awesome. And they end it with a nice poop noise. Now... Correct me if I'm wrong, the song Head of a Skull, I got obituary grooves out of there, especially during the end. That yeah. stompy groove is obituary. And that's, again, like, the cool thing, not only do you hear, like, crossover thrash and their brand of grindcore, you hear other elements like old school death metal. I definitely got those vibes on People of the Leprosy and Dying After Midnight. Both of those had, like, old school death riffs, you know, in obituary, of course. You know, just like that more death metal feel to it. See, in, it wasn't in, grindy. In Dying After Midnight, I got like an Anthrax feel. Like if Anthrax was a grind band. Actually, they would be this band. Yep, yep. Or S.O.D. If S.O.D. was a grind band, they would be Bird Flesh. The back half of these 13 songs, so <laughs> if you if you count, the first eight minutes is gone. The back half, though, I love it. I love it, dude. The song Kickstart My Ass. <laughs> The chorus is fucking ridiculous. Gentlemen, start your buttholes. <laughs> it must have worked, though. My ass was moving. I mean, yeah. yeah. I, I wasn't not banging my head throughout all this. It's just fun. But yeah, kickstart my ass. Yeah, I'm already having fun just saying the title. And then Piss Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Those lyrics are ridiculous. He too. pisses on everything, that little shit. <laughs> Like it, it has this kind of fun stomp to it. It kind of reminds me of like a slower repulsion song. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. like kind of gritty, almost thrash, kind of punk, proto grindcore, just ugh. But the song is just, it's just, he's piss boy, he pisses on everything. I think he pisses on your record collection. But one of my particular favorites on here, both for hilarity and music, is the song Hell Satan Bro Stalker. I love that title. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's 
like Satan just kind of hovering over a circle pit at a five finger death punch shows like that one. All the <laughs> fucking Kyles and Chads yeah. died a day. Yep, yep, that's what happened. So yeah, watch out if you're actually at one of those shows. Or don't. I mean, you shouldn't be there. It's five finger death punch. But this song is punk as hell. Like, there's tons of punk moments. This song is almost solidly just punk. Like, it kind of has that motorhead vibe mm -hmm, to it. Mm -hmm. And then you have quite possibly my favorite sample on here because there are some fun samples mm. on here. But my favorite one, they sample the crazy Christian lady from the Wife Swap episode. <laughs> Everyone's dog sided. They're all evil. They're not Christians. Yeah, you hear that screaming in the background over some really fun breakdowns with some yep. seriously awesome riffs in it. Yep, there's a bolt thrower riff in here. A little there bit. Really a little bit of like that kind of yep. mid-tempo yep. groove, yep. like some serious chugs. But this is how the EP essentially caps off. But they were kind enough to throw on some live tracks at the end. <laughs> so literally the last 11 tracks is segments from a live show in Belgium, I believe. And... As much as I love the live energy in here, it sounds like they recorded it on an iPhone. In someone's pocket. Yeah. it's Like it's, they didn't uh, know the phone was recording and muffled. they stuck it in their pocket. Yeah, it's really muffled and mumbled and sounds like a terrible, terrible recording. Yeah. But, but. But, goodness gracious, some of my, I think, now favorite songs <laughs> in the world are on, are, are, are played live. Um, I just have to say, Coffin Fucker. It's and, great. And, and he repeats that word. That th those words so many times, and he yells it, and I just like the way he yells "coffin fucker" at me. The intro <laughs> to uh, a live autopsy. <laughs> this song is about an alive autopsy. It's called a live autopsy. A live autopsy. Yep. <laughs> just just keeps yelling it, and but it's it's a bullet train show. They talk a little bit, say some goofy stuff, and this band is at MDF. And oh my god, I mean, I wanted to yeah, see dude, them before. I, I really can't wait. But I have to see this band live. And if you've seen pictures of them, they wear moo moos and masks. I guess there's a lot of props. It looks ridiculous in all the right ways. And actually, I believe one of the members reached out to me not too long ago because I uh, reviewed Extreme Graveyard Tornado, which I still absolutely love the <laughs> title of that album. Not as much as I love the song title Guacamole Station of the Ta Corps. Jesus Christ, that's next level brilliant. But he got a hold of us and he liked the fact that I was so elated by their work. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. well, it continues. This is a fun EP. And believe me, we're going to keep bringing up Portal because that band haunts me. But oh my God, this is just really just kind of lifted me up. Like, oh my God, I, yeah, I man, needed I, I, some positivity. Right, I feel uh, alive again. And I feel <laughs> not, not like I'm going to jump off a bridge. You know, it's grind. It's party. It's party, it's party grind. Almost. It's party grind. Party grind. Pizza grind? No, Pizza? I'm not going to call it that. No, but it's but definitely fun. like fun party grind. Like you, you can tell these guys are having a good time. Oh like, hell yes! And especially in the live recording, like because it's so bad, <laughs> but you can tell they're having a lot of fun, and they're having a lot of fun with the crowd, and like the, I mean, when you get a song called "The Flying Penis," I mean. <laughs> You know, or anal misery. I've been there. I'd been food, there. I had food poisoning. It was terrible. I didn't go there, but yeah. But I mean, but I mean, like, I like that about metal. It's ridiculous. I love it. Yep. Yep. If you're gonna do over the top in whatever fashion you want to do it, just do it. Do it. And these guys did. And overall, I'm gonna give this four stars. This is a banging EP. Mm -hmm. uh, it's full throttle, bullet train. There is not a lot of pretense on anything. <laughs> Goofy samples. There's Terminator samples, there's a poorly played flute solo. Dude, I think that was a plastic recorder. It might have been a plastic recorder. I really recorder. do. I yeah. really do. Just, it, it was so bad. Or like the, the plastic slide yeah. whistles. It's, <laughs> it was weird. But it's all done so well and with such an intention to just entertain. And it whoops ass. Like all of the thrashy aspects, the little sections of black metal and death metal in there. Mm -hmm. This is probably the most fun grindcore band I have ever listened to. Most of the time, Grindcore is just about being in your face, and believe me, they are, but they're wearing a goofy mask, so it's <laughs> just fun, and you should get it. You should get all their stuff. It's ridiculous. Yeah, so this is actually the first time I've sat down and listened to a whole album. Now, granted, they're not much longer than 10, 20 minutes, but, man, I had such a good time. 
I laughed. Uh, you know, I, I banged my head and laughed. That's so refreshing. And that's something I like about metal, too. And the, the majority of metal heads that I know are not very serious people. In fact, they're genuinely, like, sarcastic people. This was a great time and a great jam, and the song titles are ridiculous, and the lyrics are even more ridiculous. And uh, I can't wait to see this live. I don't know if I said four stars, but I'm going to say four stars. I... Yeah, such a good time. I had a lot of fun. Go out and buy this. Go out and buy all this. Go buy a, a shirt. Hopefully it has something really stupid on it, because yep, that's yep. the shirt I'm going to buy. Right. This will also enter my merch <laughs> swath. <laughs> so, if you enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, subscribe, because we do stuff like this all, all the, the time. time. We are also on Patreon, so if yeah, you'd like yeah. to help us out there, there will be a link below in the description. We're going to throw on some more podcasts and more goofy pictures of us because that's, that's the pictures we take. Yeah, that's it, really. And, and of course, some weird outtakes because we constantly screw up and giggle at each other. Also, we have a giveaway going on for when we hit 6,000 subscribers, and holy crap, are we close to 6,000 subscribers. That's insane. Thank you, guys. Thank yes. you for all that you've done and continuing to watch this and you know, commenting and chatting and, you know, we're making friends. This has been a really great time. Thank you for keeping that going. Absolutely. So when we hit 6,000, again, which isn't too far off the bat, we're giving away four CDs and I believe a Thralls of Metal sticker as seen here. <laughs> Thralls of Metal. So, Make yeah. sure you comment on that video. Make sure you comment. And if you comment, we're going to use a little randomizer thingy and pick out the next lucky winner to thank you for 6,000 thousand subscribers crazy so with that we thank you very much and we will catch you later